Hello, students. Hello, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Hello, are you now ready? Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to tonight's class. It's always a pleasure to have you in the class. How are you tonight, my people? How are you tonight? Very nice, teacher. All right, and the other students? Y los demás? How are you? Are you ready for the class? Are you ready for the class? A ver, what time is it? Nine. What time is it? <laughs> it is okay. nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock. Excellent. Bueno, yo tengo las y dos. ¿Cómo sería las nueve cero dos pm? It is Nice. Um, o oh, digo, puedo decir o'clock todavía ahí. No. No, ya no, porque ya pasó, ¿verdad? Dos minutos. Ahí sería, it's nine o Nine and two. O two. El cero, vamos a decirlo, no. o. Oh. It's nine o two. PM. PM. Ok. Nine. Nine. 9.02 p.m. Okay, let's go ahead and call our attendance. Let's check how we are with the attendance. Let's check. Okay, so I have here Adilton Danilo Giron Ramirez in the house. Hello, Adelto? No. Okay, Alba Carolina Rivas Palacios. I am your teacher. Thank you so much. Next is now um, Ana Janet Noemi Velasquez Montoya. Ana Maria Canales Raimundo. Here I am. Thank you, Janet. Ana María García de la Cruz. Yo también dije presente. Yeah, usted es um, Carolina, ¿verdad? No, Alba Ana Carolina. María Canales. Ana María Canales Raimundo. Sí, ya le puse mis sí. excelente. Ah, All right. Sí. Um, Aravenis Elizabeth Ruiz Cruz. Ok. Negative. Okay, next is Brenda Esmeralda Mendez de Medina. I am here. All right, thank you so much. Carlos Eduardo Pino Bonilla, Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Daniela Alejandra Martinez Molina. Daniela Elizabeth Ramirez Alvarado. Diana Saraí, Alferes Fuentes. Present. All right, thank you. Diego Javier Martinez Benitez. Here I am. All right, thank you so much. Diego Edwin Daniel Vázquez Mos. I am here. Perfect. Let me see. Elizabeth Jasmine Cañas Albarenga. Nope. Elmer Giovanni Perez. Present. All right, I got it. Elmer, Emma, Deborah, Rodas Andrade. Here I am. Thank you so much. Erika Alejandra Hernandez Avila. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Erika Marilu Estrada Rodriguez. 
Francisco Javier Garcia Escobar. Gabriel Alice Ramírez Alvarado. Wow, cuántas ausentes. Glenda Xiomara Álvarez de Aquino. Wow. Hernán Mestanza Luna. Jenny Beatriz Chicas de León. Wow. Um, Joana Stephanie Magaña Pineda. José Adrián Marinero García. Jocelyn Mercedes Flores Abarca. Wow, cuántos tuve. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Teacher, falta yo. Yeah. Vaya, mis. No se preocupe, vamos a pasar la asistencia de nuevo. Okay, let's go to the platform, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep talking about different time zones. You know, when you live in a different time zone, then your time is not the same than our time here. So you have to pay attention in those small details. Then let's watch another video about present continuous. Yeah, we did this. Here we go. It's loading. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. One second, guys, que el internet está un poquito slow, 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 slow. Voy a desconectar un poquito mi cámara un momento, tal vez así cagamos. Let me see. Bueno, estábamos viendo lo de la hora, right? ¿Cómo se decía cuando estaba la hora en punto? O'clock. Así es, pero es cuando está cero, cero, ¿verdad? Está en punto cabal. Vamos a decir o'clock. Ok. Cuando se pasa un minuto, dos minutos, es decir, hay un cero de por medio, vamos a decir, oh, it's one o oh one, la una cero uno, it's one o oh one, it's one o oh five. All right. Cuando la hora ha pasado, bueno, cuando los minutos, right, han pasado de la hora, cinco, diez, quince, veinte, vamos a usar las expresiones past, que es como pasada las, ¿verdad? Tales horas. Past. O podemos usar la palabra after. After. Past and after. Uh. Cuando la hora está próxima, ¿verdad? Los minutos están próximos a llegar a la siguiente hora, vamos a usar la preposición to. And before, the expression before. Cuando ya casi falta, right? Falta un poquito para la hora. Let's check this audio. Let's check this audio. Let me share my screen. Okay, let's watch this video real quick. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, 
London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello? Hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And it's 4 o'clock there. Okay, any question on the conversation? Any unfamiliar word or expression? ¿Alguna pregunta de la conversación, chicos? Nope. Ok, entonces identifiquemos no. present continuous aquí en la conversation. ¿Quién me dice un ejemplo de present continuous within the conversation? Mm. Uh -huh. I'm calling. Correct. I'm calling from Australia. That is present continuous. Next. Solo eso teníamos. No creo. Bueno. Acá tenemos más ejemplos de present continuous. Por ejemplo. Um, ben. Um, I am. Let me see. I'm awake. Tiempo presente. What time is it there? ¿Qué hora es allá? Prácticamente, I'm calling from Australia is the example in present continuous. Ok, let's They're practice the conversation. Let's practice the conversation. Todas las chicas van a ser Debbie and all the boys are going to be John. Are you guys ready to practice? Sí? Chicas? Ladies? You're Debbie. Yes. All right. And all the boys are yes. going to be John on three, two, one. Action. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, I'm calling from yes. Australia. I am calling from Australia. 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 I have I am. a conference in I Sydney, am. remember? Oh, All right. right. All right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, and it's 4 o'clock here in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 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 4 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. 4 o'clock a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. okay. I am I'm away. away now. Now. Okay, I'm I like sorry. it. I like it. <laughs> Se me quedaron los demás, pero ahí respondieron los chicos. Nice job. Good pronunciation. I was able to understand your English. Good job. Let's move on. Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh. Okay, ahora sí vamos de lleno con la hora, chicos. Pay attention, please. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. It's one o'clock. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. 
It's 1.45. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock. But first of all, antes que nada, antes de irnos a los ejemplos, uh, vamos a tratar de double check. Decíamos, cuando la hora es en punto, vamos a usar la expresión o'clock. O'clock. Acá, ¿verdad? Cuando es la una cero cero, las dos cero cero, etc. O'clock, en punto, exacto. It's one o'clock. Uh, cero minutos y algo, vamos a usar o. Oh, en este caso, it's one o five. Repeat, it's one o five. It's one o five. It's one o five. Mm -hmm. All right, puede one ser que um, ya sean las que las las y diez, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir it's one ten. Y son las y diez, la una y diez, right? Siempre el it's, porque it's es como decir son las en español, ¿verdad? Son las tres. It's, right? It's to give the time. Okay. So, para decir la una y diez, vamos a decir it's yeah. ten. 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 It's ten. Ten. It's ten, ten. Esa es la forma normal. Son las diez y diez. It's ten, ten. Ahora, si yo quiero decir son diez minutos pasada la una, ¿cómo sería? It's. It's, it's ten, ten after, after one. After one. It's ten after one. It's ten after ten. one. Excellent. It's ten after one. Puedo usar la palabra past. I mean, it's, it's ten past one. Okay. Cuando es y cuarto, podemos decir 15, el número tal cual, 15, o podemos decir en a quarter. Repeat, en a quarter. 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 Correct, correct. Ok, so what time is it? What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Guys, what time is it here? What time is it? It's a one fifteen. It's one fifteen. La forma normal. It's 15. one fifteen. All right. It's one fifteen. Okay. 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 All right. Now the next form. It's it's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Okay. It's a quarter after one. Puedo decir, puedo decir after o puedo decir past. ¿Verdad? Puedo decir a quarter past one. Past o puedo decir after. A ver, um, la una con veinte. ¿Cómo sería la una con veinte? It's one. It's, it's one twenty. It's 120, la forma normal. It's 120 or it's 120. All right. Y si, bueno, excedemos eso. Let me see. Vamos a ver. La otra opción sería usando past or after. ¿Cómo quedaría usando past or after? It's 20. It's 20 past. It's 20 past. past one. It's um, 20 past one. Repeat, it's 20 past one. It's 20 past one. It's 20 past one. Son 20 minutos pasada la una. Puedo usar past o puedo usar after. Next one. Cuando es la y media, cuando son las y media, vamos a decir el número tal cual. Por ejemplo, la una y media. It's one thirty. Repeat. It's one thirty. It's one thirty. Thirty. It's one thirty. 
30. It's 1.30. La otra forma sería, it's, it's one and a half. It's one and a half. Uh -huh. O podemos, let me see, it's one and a half. O podemos decir, 30, 30 que es 30 es igual a 30 que es 30 es igual a, se me hizo el equals, ahí está, es igual a and a half. Podría ser 30 o podría ser y media. Si sería en la una y media, puedo decir it's 1.30. Repeat, it's 1.30. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. De lo contrario, puedo decir it's one and a half. It's one and a half. It's one and a half. One and a half. Ok, ahora ya vamos para la otra hora. Para la otra hora puedo usar the preposition to o puedo usar before two or before uh -huh. two or before correct por ejemplo aquí what time is it here it's 140 la forma normal la 140 it's 140 pero la otra forma it's 20 to 2 aunque se escuche así verdad repetido it's 22 it's 22 or it's 22 to Ok. It's 20 before 2. Sí, it's 20 before 2. Esa es la otra forma. It's 20 before 2. Vamos al último. It's, it's, it's 1.45. Son la 1.45. It's 1.45. Or it's a quarter. It's a quarter to 2. It's, it's a, a quarter, quarter to 2. Okay. It's a quarter to 2. So I ask you the questions. What time is it here, guys? What time is it here? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Okay, one what time is it here? It's a quarter before it's two. It's a quarter, quarter, quarter before two. two. Excellent. A quarter, a quarter to two. Correct, correct. Okay, two. let's go with this one. What time is it? What time is it here? What time is it here in this watch? It's 140. It's 140. Or it's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. Okay, it's 115. It's 115. Or it's a quarter after 1. Okay, very good. And what time is it here? What time is it here, guys? What time is it here? It's one of five. It's one o five. That is absolutely correct. It's five after one. It's five after one. Okay, yeah. Let me just check something here very quick. Oops, ya no me sacó. One second, please. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Estoy abriendo acá este file. Espero que me abra y se los comparto. Okay. So, any question acá, guys? Cuando la hora está cerca, vamos a usar to or before. Cuando es pasada, past or after. Y con ese punto, o'clock. Bien. Tenemos aquí un exercise, exercise. 
Let's see. Tenemos diferentes horas. Vamos a escribir la hora ahí. 3 p.m., 3.05, 3.15, 3.30, 3.40 y 3.45. Les vamos a dar 10 minutos exactly. 10 minutos exactly y compartimos sus exercises. Completando ahí. Si pueden, me escriben unas dos formas. Eh, por hora, ¿verdad? Por los tipos de horas que le ¿Qué hora dijo? ¿Perdón? Las horas que dijo, teacher. No las estoy compartiendo. Permítame, permítame, permítame. Aquí está, aquí está, aquí está. ¿Ahora sí? Yes. Wonderful. Ahí está. 3 p.m., 3 5. Ay, ya se le estoy dando, right? Pero sí, pónganme ahí una forma. And that's it, that's it. Les vamos a darnos, ¿qué? Siete, seis minutos. Siete, seis minutos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six minutes. Y luego comparamos. Write the time, please. Write the time. Escríbanlo en sus cuadernos. Y comparamos en seis minutos. No lo veo bien. <laughs> ya lo vi.
Okay, very well. Very well. Do I have a volunteers? A ver esos voluntarios que ya hicieron sus ejercicios. Volunteers, la primera, ¿cómo sería? Ana Janet, what time is it? Acá, what time is it? La primera. Yes, ma'am. It's three o'clock. Correct. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver. Diana, Sara, y la siguiente. What time is it? It's three o' five. Excelente. It's three o' five. Eh, la, la B pequeña. Three o' five. Thank you, Erica. Next, what time is it here? It's 3.15 or it's a quarter after three. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful jobs, Erica. Diego, what time is it here? It's 3.30. It's 3.30. 30, say 30. 30. Uh, okay. Sorry. It's 3, 1, and a uh, 4. Alf, perdón. Vas a decir, it's 3 and one. a half. It's uh -huh. 3 sí, sí. and a half. And a and half. A half. Y luego okay. lo dices rápido. And a half. And a half. It's 3 and a half. It's three and a half. Perfecto. La L no la vas a pronunciar, ok? Cuando digas media, se dice half. So la F, half. half. Ok. Good job. A ver, mis Diana, mis Alferes. Acá. What time is it? It's three forty. It's three forty or? Or. It's uh, 20 to 4. Correct. It's 20 to 4. También it's 20 before 4. Excellent job, miss. And last but not least, we have uh, the last one. The last one. Tenemos a quien? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ana Maria Canales. What time is it? Serie 45 horas. Sería, ¿Serían las 3 y 45 o un cuarto a las 4? Ok. It's a quarter to four. Power. Uh -huh. Correct. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál it's 345. 3.45. Fantastic. Great job. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Va. Let's... Acuérdense que podemos decir in the morning or a.m. 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 No es I. I es otra letra. A. Esto es A. A.m. A.m. Entonces esto abarca what? Five in the morning, six in the morning, seven in the morning, eight in the morning. Todo, ¿verdad? Hasta las 11.59. Después que sigue noon. Mediodía, no. Son las 12 del mediodía. ¿Cómo se dice son las 12 del mediodía? Son 12 o'clock noon. Correct. It's 12 noon. It's 12 o'clock noon. Excellent. Next is in the afternoon. In the afternoon or PM. Por ejemplo, puedo decir las 3 de la tarde. ¿Cómo puedo decir las 3 de la tarde? Voy a decir, it's 3 in the afternoon. ¿Ya? O puedo decir, it's 3 p.m. ¿Yes? Lo que no se puede es que ustedes digan, los dos es que ustedes digan, it's 3 in the afternoon p.m. No, así sí no se puede, ¿verdad? Eso tiene que ser uno. No me van a decir, it's 7 in the morning a.m. No, no, no. Solo es a.m. o es in the morning. Oh, right. 
interesting, interesting, interesting. Very nice. Let me stop my stopwatch. Perfect. Um, sigamos. In the evening, recuerden que in evening the... es como una tarde noche, right? Las seis, las siete. Repeat, in the evening. In the, in the evening. evening. Or PM. Yeah. Or PM. Yeah. At okay. night. At, At night. 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 At or PM. PM. Or PM. Or PM. Ejemplo, las 10 de la noche. How do you say las 10 de la noche? It's 10 p.m. Puedo decir, it's 10 at night. At night. Or it's 10 at p.m. Ahí no se dice o'clock. Sí, sí, es que esta es la, 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 la parte del día, right? Puedes decir las 3 p.m. Ah, 10 o'clock p.m., que es casi de noche ya. Y luego, medianoche, midnight. Repeat, midnight. 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 Ok, and I learned this one, a.m. Ahora, recuerden, pueden decir a.m., right? Or in the morning. In the morning. Pero nunca intenten decir los dos. Right? Because it's not correct. It's not correct. Vaya, les voy a dictar un par de preguntitas y me envían sus respuestas tan pronto puedan entrar ahora o mañana. ¿Listos? Question number one. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas te levantas? What time do you leave home? Leave home es irse de la casa. ¿A qué hora se va usted de la casa? ¿A qué hora sale? When you go, al de vas cuando al vas al que al university. Um, al work, al trabajo I don't know, ahí está what time do you get up, what time do you leave home what time do you eat lunch I see what time do you eat lunch Get home. Okay, la última. And what time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Revisenme por favor y me dicen si se entiende. Okay. Yep. Por ejemplo, yes. si empezamos con la primera, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas tú te levantas? Levantas. Entonces necesito el sujeto, necesito el verbo que estoy usando, necesito la preposición at que va siempre a dar la hora y la hora exacta. Can be I wake up at seven o'clock. Sí, solo que wake up es despertarse. Yo estoy usando get up, que es levantarse. Son un I get out. Diferentes. Uh -huh. I get out at seven o'clock. Correct. You're right. Ajá, mis, adelante. Eh, una pregunta. En la última, eh, what time do you do to bed? Así es. Do you go? What time do you go? Do you go? Uh, what time do you do? Si sí, me equivoqué, you're right, you're right. Ahí está, miseria. What time do you go to bed? Go to bed. Recuérdense que este es como irse a dormir, ¿verdad? Go to, what time do you go to bed? Así. 
verifiquemos las otras. What time do you leave home? ¿A qué horas te vas de la casa? ¿Sales de la casa para el trabajo? ¿Qué sé yo? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you go to bed? Iniciamos con la primera, right? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Volunteers, what time do you get up? I, yo. Um, volunteers, volunteers. Yeah. Ajá, dígame usted. I, I get up. Ah, I get, get up. Get up. Get up. Um, four o'clock a.m. Bueno, está faltándonos la preposición at, mm -hmm. antes de la hora, ¿verdad? Antes de decir la hora decimos at, que es como decir en español a las. Yeah, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? A ver, I what time up, do you get I up? Mm -hmm. Repeat. Yeah. What time do you get up? Okay, Diana Sarai, what time do you get up? I get up at uh, five o'clock a.m. Wow, five o'clock a.m. All right, miss, interesting. What about Elmer? What time do you get up, Elmer? I get up at five a.m. I am or am? I am. Yes, be careful, be careful with that. Creo que tenemos un par de estudiantes que tienen un poquito de problemita por ahí, right? Pero con la práctica lo lograremos. A ver, Alba, what time do you get up? I get up at 6.30 a.m. Excelente, I get up at 6.30. Póngamele Z ahí a Z. 30, 6.30. 30. A.M. Me dijo, ¿verdad? A.M. All right. We have participants. A ver, Ana María, what time do you get up? What? A ver, María, um, María. I get up at 5 o'clock a.m. Excelente. I get up at 5 o'clock a.m. Or I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Alba Rivas, cambiemos la pregunta, manera de práctica. La segunda era, what time do you leave home? Porque si sale usted, right? Usted estudia o trabaja, hay una hora en la que usted más o menos va saliendo de su casa. Irse de la casa, irse, se dice leave, leave. Irse de la casa, leave home. What time do you leave home, guys? Volunteers. Clara, what time do you I leave home? I leave home at uh, 7 o'clock a.m. It's correct. Okay, Diana Alfred, what time do you leave? Do you leave home? I leave home at uh, 6.30 in the morning. Oh, that's not bad. 6.30 in the morning. Okay, acceptable. What about Marilu? Do you have something, Miss um, Erica? No, fue un error, lo siento. Okay, what about... Ya estamos ahí, ya estamos ahí. Okay, so remember, guys, podemos decir eh, a.m. o p.m. o decimos la parte del Listen día. And in the morning. A.M. Noon. P.M. In the afternoon. P.M. In the evening. P.M. At night. P.M. Midnight. A.M. Let's uh, practice this time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. 
It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, excellent, excellent. Fuck. It's 12 p.m. Let's listen and repeat. Let's listen and repeat. Hay diferentes formas. Hay diferentes formas. So check it out. It's seven in the morning. Repeat. It's seven in the morning. It's seven in it's the morning. It's seven in the morning. It's optional ahí, ¿verdad? We got it o'clock. Puedo también decirlo. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Repeat. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's seven a.m. It's, it's seven a.m. It's seven a.m. It's seven a.m. Okay, acá tenemos tres formas. It's twelve. Repeat. It's twelve. It's twelve. Twelve. Wow. Or it's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. Okay, let's see. It's 12 p.m. Las 12 p.m. Or it's noon. Usted puede decir simplemente it's noon. Es mediodía. It's noon. No se me confundan con AM y PM aquí con las 12, ¿verdad? Porque AM, AM sería midnight, right? So aquí sería PM, correcto. Don't get confused. Okay, siguiente. It's four in the afternoon. It's four in the afternoon. afternoon. Or it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's, it's, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. In the afternoon. It, or it's four p.m. It's four p.m. Four p.m. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Repeat, it's seven in the morning. It's seven. Mm -hmm. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock in, in the morning. Or 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 it's seven p.m. 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 Podemos decir in the evening. Okay. El error sería it's seven in the evening p.m. I see. ¿verdad? No se pueden usar los dos. Remember. Okay. Here we have it's 10 at night. Repeat, it's 10 at night. 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 Or it's 10 p.m. PM. 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 Excellent. Excellent. And the last one. What time is it? It's 12. It's at 12. At night. At night. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's 12 a.m. A.m. All right. And the last one, it's, it's midnight. midnight. It's midnight. Excellent. Y si usamos de las que les mandé a ustedes, por ejemplo, what time do you go to bed? Volunteers, what time do you go to bed? <laughs> Mm -hmm. What time do you go to bed? I go to I bed. I go to bed. Go to at bed. Eleven. Bien. ¿Cuál era la la preposición que uso con la hora? I go to bed at, at midnight. At, Correct. I go to bed um, at. Go ahead, Diana Alfred. Uh, what time do you go to bed? I got a bed at uh, 11 p.m. 
Ooh, it's very late, Miss. It's very late. But I know you're busy. I know you're busy. A ver, Ana María García, what time do you go to bed? I no. go to bed. Uh -huh. No, no sé. Eh, pones el at. I go to bed. I go to bed. At. At. Uh -huh. 12. Go. 12. Eh, yen. At 12 a.m. En la medianoche. Okay, okay, I go to bed at 12 a.m. That's right. <laughs> All right. She goes to bed. Podemos decir she goes to bed at midnight. A la medianoche. Okay, what time do you eat lunch? Okay, guys, volunteers. What time do you eat lunch? Ay. Levánteme la manita. Levánteme la manita. Raise your virtual hand. Okay. Um, Erica Maroli. Go ahead. Uh, I eat my lunch at 12 o'clock. 12, exactly. At noon. Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. The question is for Anna Maria. Okay, thank you. What about Erica Marilu? Do you have something, Erica? Teacher, no yes. Oh, okay. Well, we have verificar, guys, su asistencia. Let me check real quick. Porque hubieron varios que no me contestaron. Vamos a ver si están. Ok. Do I have a Dilton Danilo Girón Ramírez? Aravenis Elizabeth Ruiz Cruz. Present. Uh, Miss, ya le había puesto aquí, mire. I'm sorry. Ahí está. Ahora venís. Eh, Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Here I am. Thank you so much. Diana, no, Daniela Alejandra Martinez Molina. Here I am. Thank you so much. Daniela Elizabeth Ramírez Acevedo. Alvarado. Ah. Ramírez Alvarado. I'm sorry, Miss. Ya le cambié aquí, mire. Sería Daniela Elizabeth Ramírez Alvarado. I'm sorry. Here I am. My goodness. Um, ¿Quién más? Elizabeth Jasmine Cañas Alvarenga. No. Missing in action. Um, Erika Marilu Estrada Rodríguez. Here I am. Francisco Javier García Escobar. Which is absent. Uh, let's see. And then Gabriela Lisset Ramírez Alvarado. Here I am. Already, Miss, be my guest. Linda Xiomara Álvarez de Aquino. Next is Hernan Mestanza Luna. Wow, cuántos ausentes. Jenny Beatriz Chicas de Harkin. Joana Stephanie Magaña Pineda. Wow. José Adrián Marinero García. Alejandro, José Alejandro Vaquerano Sánchez. Here I am, teacher. Sir. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Voy con Jocelyn Mercedes Flores Abarca. Present, teacher. 
Thank you so much. Entonces, ¿les quedan las preguntas de tarea? A mí no me mencionó. Ana María García. Ana María de la Cruz, sí. Ana María. Sí, aquí la tengo ya, mis, no se preocupe. Thank you so much. ¿Alguna de las... Perdón. Perdón. En alguna de las preguntas que hizo, yo no le respondí porque no sabía si se estaba dirigiendo Ana María Canales o mm. Ana María García. Entonces ahí es donde yo no sabía si responder. Porque right. me mencionó dos veces. Sí. Ana María y yo respondí en la primera. Entonces luego volvió a mencionar, pero yo no sabía si a mi persona se, se dirigía siempre. No problem, I'm sorry. Voy a ser más específico ahí con su primer nombre y su apellido, tal vez, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. All right, no problem. Ayer, Erika, Erika, go ahead, Erika, what's your answer? Es que no sé si me escuchó cuando respondí que aquí estaba porque se le enfocó interferencia. Vamos a ver ahorita, mis Estrada. Erika. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí te tengo. No problem. Gracias. My pleasure. So, what time do you eat your lunch, Erica? What time do you eat your lunch? I eat my lunch at 12 o'clock. Wow, qué puntuales. All right. Next question. Um, let me see. What time do you go to bed? Okay, what time do you go to bed, Emma Deborah? What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 12. Uh, 12? Midnight? Yes. Wow, means try to sleep more. It is necessary. Sleeping is good. Sleeping is good. Yeah. A ver, Clara, what time? Go ahead, what time, Clara? Go ahead. I go to bed at 11 at night. Wow, that's a little late, don't you think? Okay, Ana Maria, go ahead. Uh, yes? Teacher? Yes? Uh, I eat my lunch at, at, 12, at 12. No? Excellent, excellent. I eat my lunch at 12 noon. Qué puntuales son todos para comerse el lunch. Oh my God. Nobody said 12 30, 1 p.m. No problem. Because I eat at, at 6 30. 6.30. And, and guys, what time do you relax? What time do you relax? I relax at 5 p.m. And you? Go ahead, Ana Maria At Garcia. Two. I relax. Um, I relax. I. Las tres. At, con at three. At three. <laughs> at three p.m. Three thirty. Okay, at three thirty. Okay, at three thirty. P.M. Recuerden, podemos decir in the yeah. afternoon. Right? Oh, PM. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your attention. Nos quedamos aquí. We'll continue tomorrow. Same time, same place. Good night. Good night. Good Gracias. Night, My night, pleasure. Everybody. Night, night. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye, Diana.